Previously on Becoming Tuna, we finish up painting the tequila in the boatyard in Campbell River and head to Nanaimo to do a large grocery shopping trip. So there's this contraption right here, which is a freezer box. And I'm trying to learn how it works so I can set it up or help set it up sometimes for each day. Vancouver Island, at which point once we reached the top we would head west and south towards blue water and tuna fishing grounds. Just cooking on the diesel stove and watched a lot of movies. We slept in and went to bed early, and life was good. dinner. Merrick proved himself to be one of the better cooks on the boat. Here's a steak dinner he did. We learned that green water means cold water and we were looking for blue water so with the lines in we just waited and headed further south. It took us a few days to reach the fishing grounds. I was on a wheel watch, which ended at about 5.30 in the morning when we heard the first bell of the season. The bell signified that there was a tuna on the line. I ran to the back and pulled it in. At that moment, I didn't know what to do with it when it was just hanging off the back of the boat. So Justin pointed out that I could gaff it and pull it on board. It was then that I realized, holy smokes, I have a lot to learn. From getting my arms strong enough to pull in fish, to getting the right technique with wrapping my hands around the line so I could pull the lines in fast and smoothly, 
too, being able to gaff the fish and stab it and get the line back out without tangling it. There was a lot to learn this season. I never did get to go back to bed that day. We ended up catching a lot of tuna the first day of the season, and we only beat our number once the entire rest of the time. None of us knew what we were doing very well, but tuna came on and our bodies started to adjust to the difference in work atmospheres. I found myself quite seasick actually for the first time in my life for the first three days. I threw up once and felt so much better right away. But it took about three days before I felt strong again. The smell of chicken cooking was horrible to me at the time and all I could do was just wait it out. My intuition told me that after three days I would be okay and I was okay for the rest of the trip. The days began to blend and for me they really revolved around meals, breakfast, lunch and dinner. The start of the trip I had fallen down quite a bit and I was always cutting myself in the galley. It took a while to get used to but it did get better and my body did heal. We caught our first mako shark this trip as well, and we thought it would be cool to try eating the meat. I was not familiar with the process of cleaning and butchering animals for meat, and so I thought it was very fascinating watching Merrick remove the, the innards, I suppose, and cut the meat up in a clean, proper way so we could give it a try. I also thought it was so fascinating watching the heart still beat for a long time after the animal was not alive. We found the shark meat to be good initially, but the texture of it became quite rubbery after a while. We continued on fishing, fishing, fishing. This trip lasted for 15 days and we all worked out our own strategies for how to catch fish the best, catch these tuna. It was mid-June at this point and the sun would get up, would rise early and set quite late so I was tired. We would get up at about 4.30 sometimes and not go to bed until about 10, 10.30 at night. So I would try and catch up on sleep as much as I could, whenever I could. 
Doing freezer work was actually quite a fear of mine. I'd had a dream that I froze to death in the freezer just before coming on the boat. And before fishing, it did terrify me. And I, I never really did get terrified down there in reality, but it was cold. It was, it was a challenging place for me right up until the end of the season. But sometimes I think what you resist will persist and we can only learn to be stronger, I suppose. So I prayed and I did as many things as I could to make it more of an enjoyable experience. After 15 days at sea, we saw land again. We landed in Euclid.